praise the Lord. <coughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to take up much time, but uh, because we're going to have a visiting minister tonight. Amen. But I've, I've got to say a little bit for the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. He yeah. set me free. Yeah. About 37 years ago, at this altar here, he set me free. Come on. From the bonds of prison, he set me free. Yes. Yeah. Uh, life has been different ever since then. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah. You know, I can't see any Christian tied down and not able to praise the Lord Amen. because of what he done. The glory Amen. to God. He set us free. Amen. He didn't just hit not just one of us. He set the whole church free. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Brother William, come on up here and just let God use you Amen. in a great and a mighty way tonight. Praise God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm looking forward to that. You know, praise God. Praise. What did you say, brother? I said, he's been talking about you all week. <laughs> praise God. You know, I'll tell you what, there was a time in my life where I was in darkness. And the only light that shined through was when God came into my life yeah. and he gave me that light. Praise God. Amen. I'm thankful for that light that he's given me tonight. Yeah. I'm thankful for every light that's being shined upon. Because let me tell you, we're living in dark times today. Yeah. And I tell you what, the church needs to rise up again. Because yeah. glory to God, Amen. we are the true church. Amen. We need to bring back the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We need to bring that fire back to the church. Amen. Amen. I believe in it. I believe God's word and what God's word says. I will live by God's word Amen. until the day I take my last breath. Amen. 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 I'll tell you what. I, my, when I was a young man, I had an old time minister tell me. He said, and I, I was nine years old when I got saved, but I, I didn't truly give myself to God. Right. You know, I, I got myself in the world and, and <laughs> I ran. Yeah. I ran. And when God called me to preach, I'll never forget it. I was walking home from school. I was 16 years old. And when he called me to preach, I said, I can't preach. Uh, I am not doing that. I couldn't get in front of people. And I, just here recently, I really started, the past few years, God really started making me more bolder. And I prayed for that boldness. Because I used to look up and want to be like certain preachers, how they preach. And then I realized... I'm not called to be like them. No, I'm called right. to be Christ-like. Amen. Amen. I, I pray to God each and every day that God molds me yeah. to be the preacher He wants me to be. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Guys, I might start sweating because this morning I tell you I made it to the back altar and I forgot to take my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> Praise God anyway. But let me tell you though, He still took control. Amen. Amen. And what, our church, we like the little saying, let go and let God. Amen. 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 I want to see God working. I don't want to see, if there's anything good in me, it's Jesus Christ. Amen. Not William. If there's anything bad in me, it's Brother William. Let me tell you. Amen. I am no good, but he makes me better. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> I was going to be in Isaiah, but God really kind of pulled me back to 2 Chronicles tonight. Um, Second Chronicles chapter 7, I, I preached this message this morning actually, but I laid something different on my heart about it tonight, and I'm just going to follow what God's called me to do. Amen. Um, Amen. I don't mind, I've, I've tried to step up behind these pulpits without the presence of God, and let me tell you something, I can't preach, God can preach through me though, Amen. 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 and I tell everybody that I cannot do it, nor do I want to do it without Him, Amen. 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 And, and I truly, solely rely on the anointing of God. I rely on God's grace and mercy. He saved me. Amen. He saved all of us. Amen. Amen. I, I'm a recovering addict. And let me tell you something. The darkness I felt in my life at one time, God removed that. And he set me free. Every time I preach every Sunday morning, I praise God and I lift that song up and I'm behind the pulpit singing that song. He set me free with the congregation. Why? Because he set me free. He broke the bondages for me and you so we can have life more abundantly so we can live by the grace of God and live in paradise with him. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. He set us free. 
I thank that my priest, brother. Praise God. I, I thank God for that fire. I thank God that he has lit my soul on fire. And let me tell you, when I go through them valleys, he carries me through them valleys. Praise God, he does. He carries us. If we keep our eyes focused on him and allow him to guide and direct our path, he will move us. He will move mountains for to put us where he wants us. I was telling the church this morning, I said, for the first time in my life, I felt like my calling was right where God had me. I finally felt like he called me home. Amen. You ever walked in somewhere and you just felt at peace? Yeah. That's how I am with this church that we started up. I just, I finally felt at peace where God has moved me. I finally felt, found my calling. Praise the Lord. And I found where he wanted me. I've been struggling. I thought I was going to be a backup preacher all my life. That's what I thought I was going to be. I said, well, God, move me in a mighty way. Move me where you want me to be. I didn't think pastor in a church would be <laughs> would be it, but let me tell you something. He don't call the qualified; he qualifies the call. Amen. 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 And I'm probably the most unqualified person in Wayne County, but praise the Lord, He qualifies me. He gives me the knowledge. He gives me the wisdom. Yeah. And he will give us all of that. Yeah. Amen. 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 If we stay true to the word of God and live by the word of God and allow the word of God to move us and direct our paths, he will yeah. guide us. And he will put us where we need to be. Yeah. He will put the people in our lives that need yeah. to be in our lives. Wow. And he will work that. And I tell you what, I'm planted up on that rock and so is my house. And for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord, my children. I praise God. They go to school telling the kids about God. They praise God. Why? Because that fire is in their souls now. Because they see how their dad is living their life. They see I live a godly life and I try to live a godly life. I want to continue living that godly life. I want to walk in the Spirit and allow the Spirit to move me. As we've all been called, we all have a divine purpose in our lives. Praise God, we all have a divine purpose. Not just a purpose, a divine purpose for each and every one of our lives. God has a plan for each and every one of us. A purpose. And we just have to seek God's face and allow Him to work in our lives and move us where He has called to move us. Amen. I'm a little old-fashioned. For some reason, when I, when, I, when I was a kid, I remember this preacher. He used to make me stand for the Word of God, you know? And, and that stuck with me. Yeah. That stuck with me. And, and somebody asked me in the congregation one day, they said, why do you make us stand for the Word of God? And I said, reverence. Amen. 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 Reverence. Amen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fear of the Lord. Oh, I believe in it. I yeah. felt it. Yeah. I know it's true. The Word of God tells me it's true. Yeah. And I will keep seeking that. Yeah. Because that fear of the Lord, that keeps me on my path. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. I know where I'm going to go if I let William try to take control. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to hell. Yeah. I'm going straight to hell. And I tell you what, I don't want to serve God partial way. I want to be on fire. Amen. I want to. I don't want to be lukewarm. I don't want to sit on the fence. I want to serve God in a mighty way. I want to be spirit led. So when I talk to people, they know I serve God. Yeah. They know who I live for. Yeah. They know I live for the risen King, the King above all kings, yeah. the Lord of Lords. They know. Yeah. They should know when they by looking at us by by just being around us, they should feel the Spirit of God. Amen. 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 <laughs> But if y'all would please stand with me. Uh, in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. <laughs> I'm already sweating. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> and my people are called, which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive Forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now open my eye. Now my eyes shall be open. Sorry about that. And my eyes attend unto the prayer that is made in that place. Y'all may be seated. <laughs> I told the church one day, I said, I'm going to preach while y'all stand. I want y'all to be uncomfortable now. Because that's what's wrong with the church today. We got comfortable. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We got comfortable. Yeah. We've let that fire die out. 
That's what's wrong with it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to preach how hot hell is and I'm going to preach heaven is real and we can't go wrong when we preach the Word of God and we share the Word of God because the God, Word of God is alive today and it will be until the day He calls us home. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I allow. I love the Word of God. I fell in love with the Word of God. I fell in love with God's presence for the first time. And when I experienced the fear of the Lord for the first time, I'll tell you what, it took that desire for the world away from me. Yeah. Amen? It took the worldly desires out of me. Yeah. It removed that from me. And it took a long time for that to happen. I really had to seek God's Word. And don't get me wrong, Satan attacks me. He attacks me every day. Yeah. But let me tell you something. I serve a God that's way more powerful than the, the devil. Amen. 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 That he gave me a promise that I will serve him, that I can serve him, and I will live eternity with him. Amen. Amen. And I will have eternal Amen. life with him. Amen. Paradise. And I'm thankful for that. Right. You know, it, it, there's a cure. People say, well, there's no cure for this and this. There is a cure. His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We need to share that with the world. We need to be more bold in what we do. The church that light is going out in the church today. And let me tell you, I don't plan on letting no light go out. I want that light to shine bright. Amen. 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 I'm going to bring that fire back. I want people to know that I serve God. And I want them to know in a mighty way what the Holy Ghost can do. Amen. It can change lives. Amen. Amen. It changes Amen. lives. It'll set you on fire in a good way. Yeah. Amen. I've got the fire of hell. Let me yeah. tell you, I don't want to live in that hot hell. Yeah. I want to live by the fire of God. Yeah. I want to dwell yeah. in God's presence. I can't wait for that day where I get yeah. to serve Him. Yeah. Amen. Our country. People say we don't need to preach politics. Church is what brought politics into it. Yeah. Amen. This nation was founded on the Word of God. And now they're taking God out of it. And let me tell you, the world fall apart since they've taken God out of the equation. Yeah. Right. Amen. Right. And let me tell you, if we don't turn to Him and start seeking Him, Amen. we're going to fall. Yes, Amen. We're going to fall. Amen. We need to be teaching people how to walk accordingly to God's will. Amen. 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 We need to be teaching them to lead by God's will. Yeah. We need to be praying for our country, for our nations and our leaders. We need to be praying for them in a mighty way. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. <laughs> okay, so when I had to take my, I forgot to take my blood pressure medicine this morning, so you guys better with me a little bit. I'll be taking breaths. I usually don't take a lot of breaths, but I get excited. I'm going to burn sweat. Um, you know, I was very nervous because in these old time churches, like it's, it's an honor. Anytime I get behind any pulpit, it's an honor. It's an honor before God. It's an honor to be before y'all, the church. And it's a big responsibility. Amen. 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 And we don't want to mislead anybody. No. You know what I mean? And I tell people, follow along in your Bible because I'm human. I make mistakes, bro. I make mistakes. Uh -huh. But I'll tell you what, when that anointing comes over and you start seeing people blessed, Amen. there is nothing like it. Amen. 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 There is nothing like it when you see God working. Amen. And you see it changing people's lives. Amen. 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 Because it still exists today. Yeah. Whether we... We had a miracle happen up here at our church. I, I got to tell you all about this a little bit. And I'll get back to the Word. I'll get back to the Word. I get sidetracked sometimes. I get so overwhelmed excited. <laughs> but we, uh, there's a young couple. They were here. She usually comes up and sings. One with blue hair, Chelsea. And I asked her if I could bring it for both churches, you know. And she said, yeah. Uh, Wednesday night, they got their rights taken away to their daughter that's been in the hospital. Wednesday morning, they got a phone call saying they were going to take the rights away. And uh, Wednesday night, we showed up at service, and we prayed over them. I believe in anointing. Amen. I believe in anointing. Amen. Amen. We, we prayed over them, and we prayed for them boldly. At the end of our service, I mean, we, we got ready to all leave, and we was all in the basement. We the door was kind of cracked at the sanctuary, and the light was off. Well, she was in there praying in the dark by herself. Yeah. And I went outside and got, got Julian and her boyfriend, and I said, come on in here. We're going in here and pray with this young lady. She's broken. I can feel her broken spirit being broken. 
And it says two or more gathered in his name, his presence will be there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Praise God for that. Yeah. But we all gathered, about six or seven of us, and we all laid hands at the altar, right? And we all prayed over this girl. And we prayed and prayed and prayed. We prayed without ceasing. Mm -hmm. I know we prayed for a good 35, 40 minutes or more. And as we prayed and prayed, Brother Charles looked at me and he said, Brother, I think we prayed through. Hallelujah. And I said, Brother, as I was so overwhelmed, I started preaching. It's already 930 at night. They were all telling me, quiet down, quiet down. You're going to wake the neighbors up. I said, I ain't quieting down. <laughs> Praise God, I ain't quieting down. <laughs> but anyways, the next day, Thursday morning, she calls me about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And where I was at, I don't usually get phone service. I was out um, by what pub, and uh, she called me crying. And I said, sweetheart, what's wrong? Is something happening, baby? What, what's going on? She said, you don't know how blessed I am. But God intervened. I said, what do you mean God intervened? She said, I got to the hospital this morning and they told me they're not taking our rights away. Amen. DFS called it. God. God intervened. There yes. is power in prayer. There is power in the church today. We had to open our eyes to that because the God I serve is still in the miracle business today. Amen. I praise God for that. But that is what happens when the church comes together and prays and you pray for the anointing of God to take over and you pray for intervention. Amen. Amen. When God intervenes, he will intervene in a mighty way. Amen. Amen. And I believe that's what this world needs. We need to be intervened. We need God more today than we did yesterday. We need God more today, tomorrow, and forever. We need to continue serving Him and allowing Him to work. Amen. 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 We need to let Him work. Amen. We need to die to ourselves Amen. and let Him work in our lives. Amen. We need to fully surrender. And sister was talking about how hard it is for her. I couldn't imagine sending, sending my child to a cross. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I would, I would, I had this guy, he kept telling me, just imagine if Satan had your son and he was attacking him in front of you and you're tied to a chair or whatever, beating him or whatever, what would you do? Could we really pray? You know, that's a good question. Could we be that faithful? You hear these stories about people being burned at the stake? Yeah. And while they're being burned alive, they're worshiping and praising yeah. God. Amen. 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 I want that kind of faith. I want the faith of Abraham. I want to leave my home like Abraham. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. His presence is alive today. His spirit's alive yeah. today. And it will continue being alive today. Yeah. And let me tell you, by the grace of God, when I, I hope he calls me home before he puts his wrath upon this world. Oh, yeah. Amen. I hope he calls me home. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, I don't want to be a part of that. But if I do get stuck here, I hope it's to be a witness. Amen. 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 I hope it's not because I'm falling short. Because let me tell you, I live 10 miles from here. And let me tell you something. If I fall short, if I make it nine, I ain't made it home. And let me tell you, that's our walk with God. If we don't make it all the way, we're going to go to hell. Amen. 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 And I want to make it that full 10. I want to go 110 for God. Amen. I want God to work in my life and allow him to move. Amen. I want everybody to know that. Amen. We need to surrender to God tonight and allow God to move. Amen. Amen. The churches need to start to yield to God. Amen. The churches need to start letting God move again and work again. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We have to turn away from our wicked ways. Amen. I, people say, well, you shout and stump a lot. That's what God does to me. Amen. He gives me a reason. He gives Amen. me the goosebumps. Amen. Amen. I love God. it when I get them goosebumps and I start Amen. running. Praise Amen. God. I don't know if y'all know Brother Leslie Burchard and, and all them. Uh, but them I watched him grow. I grew up watching him. First time I went to your wife, I watched him run the back of a pew. I was a little kid. I'd never been so scared in my life. I looked at my grandma and said, what's going on? She said, that's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. That's the Holy Ghost. Amen. I, I think the, the more I study the Word, I start feeling that. Yeah. The more I get into the Word of God, I feel that. Yeah. I know He's real. Amen. 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 He rescued Amen. me from a bottomless pit. Amen. 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 And he set me free. Yeah. He set y'all free. Amen. He will still set you free. He yeah. continues setting you free. Amen. If you're lost tonight in bondage or anything, let me tell you, there's nothing like surrendering to the will of God and allowing God to work. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So work and let him work 
you move in our lives. Yeah. Amen. I'll tell you, Pray. glory to God. He set me free. He will set you free. Pray. I'm telling you, if you're having problems with your children, Pray to God and allow God to move. Yes. Allow Him to work in your children's lives. Be the parent. Be the ruler. You rule your house. Rule your house. Don't let your children. But let me tell you something. Allow God to work in their life. Amen. They don't want to go to church. Make them. Amen. Make them. Because one day they'll thank you for it. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. That's true. Man. I used to get so mad at my grandma and them for making me go to church. Grandma, I'm going to go deer camp. No, no, no. I can't tell you how many deer seasons I miss. <laughs> because my grandma, she's like, you ain't going to deer camp. That's something you want to do. You're going to church. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, she helped build the foundation to where I'm at today. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Her prayers are still being answered today. Amen. Amen. Because she prayed for my, she prayed for me. She prayed for God to reach down and intervene. I remember I had my first truck, my first car ready. And I come home and she started crying, apologizing. and said, what's wrong, Grandma? She said, I prayed to God this morning and he'd slow you down. <laughs> <laughs> but when I hit the tree going 75 mile an hour, the motor was on my lap almost. And it looked like someone took a baseball and shoved it in the side of my head. And she broke down crying. I said, thank you. I said, because when I swerved, I hit a ditch before I hit the tree first. And it slowed me down because I was going about 100 when I when I hit the ditch. And it caused me to come out and slow down a little bit. So I couldn't imagine what it would have been doing at a hundred mile an hour. We talked about that earlier, brother. How many times God protected us? Amen. Amen. How many times has God protected us Amen. in our time of life when we were lost in sin? He was there. He was guiding us. He was protecting us through that because he knew he had a purpose for your life and my life and he wanted us to fulfill that purpose. Amen. Amen. He fulfills that purpose and he will i promise you he will get a hold of us one way or another i can yeah. running from my calling or running and that was the t worst 10 years of my life and now i can't wait to get behind the pulpit praise god i can't wait to get behind the pulpit i can't wait to tell somebody about jesus <laughs> i walked in a gas station every time i walk in the gas station i invite people to church i let them know I serve Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I serve a risen Savior. Amen. Amen. I serve a God that uh, that breaks chains. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I serve a God that Amen. no matter what we do, He's a forgiving God. Yeah. He's a just God. Yeah. But let me tell you, He wants to let His mercy and grace rain down on you. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. He wants you to. He wants to share them blessings Amen. with you. Yes, he wants you to open your eyes and seek Amen. Him. He wants you to open the Word of God and get in the Word and allow Him to work. Amen. 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 And we need to be seeking that today, church. Amen. More today than ever. Amen. We're living in times where evil is good and good is evil. Yeah. Right. Amen. We're living. We're living it. We're living it today. I never thought I'd. I, I say that, but I'm only 28, you know, but I remember my grandpa and him saying, I'll never live to see that day come, and he's saying it today, he's saying, I'm seeing it, yeah. I'm seeing the word of God unfold before my eyes, yeah. Mom. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen, and that's the truth, Yeah. if we open our Bibles and read, especially Revelation, I believe we're in Timothy right now, Second Timothy, yeah. I believe it, why, because open your Bible and read the word of God, and it's going to tell you what's happening today, yeah, Praise God, it's going to. It, it's yeah, going to. It, it promises. It's prophecy. That's God's word. That's yeah. God's fulfillment. It's still got to be fulfilled, and it's going to be fulfilled. Yeah. Amen. That's a promise. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thankful for that promise. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm so thankful for that promise. Yeah. Amen. I don't sweat this bad when I take my medication. <laughs> Praise God, though. But let me tell you something. God wants to use you. Each and every one of you in a mighty way. Yeah. He has a divine purpose, like I said, a divine purpose for your life. Children, I told the children this morning, they it was past their appreciation month or something, and they surprised us and brought us little cards with crosses and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. And said, We thank you for sharing the word of God. 
That was coming from little kids. Oh, out of the mouth of babes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Out of the mouth of babes. But let me tell you something. <laughs> he is the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. comes to the Father but by Him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We need to see. Because let me tell you something. We're all equal at the foot of the cross. Amen. 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 We are all equal at the foot of the cross. And we all have a divine purpose yeah. tonight. Amen. God has a plan. Yes, and we need to seek that plan. Amen. Seek his will, seek his face, and everything we do. When I wake up, when I wake up to go to work, I pray for God's message. I pray to see the message in everyday life. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter whether it's somebody walking up and saying, Hey, brother, you have a blessed Mom. day. Let me tell you something. God's message is there. We just have to be open to it. Yes. Amen. We have to be open to God's message and allow yes. God's message to dwell. Yes. Amen. Dwell in us richly. The yes. Word of God needs to be dwelling in us richly. Yes. And we need to be living the Word of God. Not talking about living the Word of God. I'm talking about living the true Word of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I'll tell you what. I am thankful today for that Word. Yes. That Word has saved my life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Several times and in this Bible, I can't tell you how many times I've opened my Bible and been in such a struggle in my life. And when I was in my addiction and stuff, I carried this my, my great grandma's old Bible around with me. Everywhere I went. And that place, that Bible has been in some dark times. But let me tell you, that Bible was the only light in my life Amen. at the time. That Bible carried me. Well, God carried me, but the word of God I got me through it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I mean, there were times in my addiction where I was just like, I don't know. Now I look back and I know it was God speaking to me. Yeah. Telling me, open your word. Yeah. Open your word. Yeah. And even when I was lost, I opened the word of God and He He allowed me to understand things. Because when I graduated high school, I was only reading the third grade reading level. But let me tell you, He calls the foolish of the world. Amen. And let me tell you, today. It's not about if we can read or write. It's not about that. It's about what he does. Amen. 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 He uses yeah. churches meant for the broken people. Yeah. We're all broken. Amen. If you're breathing, you're broken. Yeah. You need Jesus Christ. Yeah. As long as you're breathing, you've got hope. Yeah. You've got hope in Jesus Christ. And you can be washed yeah. clean by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, praise God for that. We can be washed clean by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I believe that wholeheartedly. I will continue to believe that wholeheartedly. Ain't nobody in this world can change my mind about the word of God. Because it's not about what we've done or what we do. It's about what God has done. Yes. For us. It's about what he has done and what he continues doing. And he will continue to work in our lives. We just have to be recipient to it and allow him to work. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> this is the first Sunday I preached twice in one day. <laughs> I tell you what, I went home today and I, I ate lunch and I said, I gotta take a nap. <laughs> I gotta take a nap. And usually, I tell you what, <laughs> I made it to the back of the church today and Brother Charles looked at me and said, Was well, you trying to run out the door? I said, He said, Go preach the gospel and not in the world. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I'm yeah, thankful yeah. for that, though. You know what I mean? I'm thankful for that. Yeah. Because when that anointing takes over, it, you're liable to do anything. Yeah. We got big records in our church. I said, one day I want somebody to throw me up first so I can shake back and forth. Maybe. Because with all things, all things are impossible, or all things are possible with God. So I got that. Yeah. Who strengthens me? Through Christ, who strengthens yeah. me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, and, and I believe that. Yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in an impossible situation that felt impossible? Come on. Yeah. And God reached out and said, watch me work. Uh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Yep. We're walking miracles, church. Amen. Each and every one of us. If we are washed clean by the blood of Jesus Christ, you are a walking miracle. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. You are a walking miracle. Yeah. You have been touched by God. Yeah. You have been anointed by God. And let me tell you something. You all have a calling on your life. Whatever it may be, some is harder than others, but let me tell you, in God's eyes, it's the same. Yeah. Amen. 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 We are called to be a light into the world. Yes, we are. And we need to start being that light again and letting our light shine bright. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I'm here to tell you, it don't matter what you've done, nor you're going to do, God will forgive you. 
Amen. God will bless you if you Amen. seek His face. Yes. If you just allow Him to work, He will touch you and guide you and heal you. Amen. My brother Princess Mason is one of that By my stripes are, am I, are you healed. And I believe that. Oh, yeah. I believe that wholeheartedly. Amen. Why? Because we have all been healed. Amen. Amen. It might not be the way we want it to be healed. My grandpa, when I finally surrendered my grandpa to God, and I said, God, you have your will. Not my will be done, but your will be done. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you something. They gave him 15 months to live. And he did his first round. They said it would, it would give him a little bit of life to give him some chemo radiation. He went back to the doctor last week. And he said, we're going to do one more round of chemo and radiation. We think it's going to shrink the cancer the rest of the way. Amen. I said, what? <laughs> I had to hit my knees. Oh. My grandpa, as I hit my knees in his living room, he hit his knees with me. Mm. And we prayed. Right. And he said, let me tell you something, son. I believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. I believe in that divine oh, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe in the divine healing of God. Yeah, yeah. I know God works today. Yeah, yeah. He works every day. Yeah. 24-7 a day, he's working, and he's working on you. Yeah. He's waiting for you to remove the sin and the iniquity in your heart yeah. to allow him to work. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. We have to remove it in order for him to work. We have to seek him in order for him to work in yeah. our life. But let me tell you something, he's always working. Yeah. Always working. And he wants you. Yes, he, he wants is. us. Yeah. Amen. He wants us to come together Amen. as a true church again. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? This is a building. That's why I tell everybody, this, these might be some buildings, very anointed buildings. If these walls could talk, oh, I couldn't imagine. Praise God. Praise God. But let me tell you something. It's all about God. Yeah. And when we start seeing that and putting Him in first in everything we do, <coughs> our lives will be changed. Yeah. Amen. Our lives will be changed yeah. and will continue to change Amen. for the better. Yeah. I keep praying and seeking God daily. Why? Because... I like I said earlier, there's nothing good that lives inside of me yeah. but Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Amen. only good part of me is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yeah. And I believe that and never preach. Yeah. Never preach. I hear that. Somebody told me that. Told me, well, I done this. Well, I said, well, let me tell you, brother, it's not about what you've done. That's right. It's not about what you've done. That's right. It's about what we or it's about what God has done yeah. Yeah. for us. Yeah. For us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Not just the church. But the sinners. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's about what he has done yeah. to rescue us from that hell. Yes. Amen. It's about mm -hmm. what he done Praise to rescue God. us from that yeah. hell. Amen. Amen. And I'll tell you, God is good. Yes. All, the, all, all the time. Amen. And all the time, God is good. Amen. I serve a faithful God. Yeah. Amen. And I know he's faithful. Yeah. He wants to be faithful to you, but are you allowing him? To work in your life. Are you allowing him to do that? Amen. We're the ones that's become ungrateful. Yeah. Yes, amen. amen. We have become ungrateful to God. We quit thanking God. We quit we quit sharing God's word, the true word of God. Today we live in a time where the word is being stepped on. It's being watered down. Yep. Sugar coating preaching leads the truth decay. Amen. amen. I believe that. <laughs> That's funny though, eh? Sure, I seen that on a sign one time on my way out by Donovan, a little church out there. And it said, Sugar coating preaching will lead to truth decay. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, I started laughing. I took a picture of it. My buddy said, You believe that? And I said, Well, I guess I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. Amen. I believe that because if, if we take our attitude from the Word of God, it's not meant to be. Amen. If we start adding to things that ain't meant to be there, we're trying to do that to fit people's sin. Yeah. If we preach, the preachers need I love it when a preacher preaches and they step on my toes. I love to feel the conviction of God. I love to know that yeah. I'm doing something wrong because that sin is separating me from God and I don't want that. I want to draw nigh to God Amen. so He can draw nigh to me. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I believe in that and I praise God for that. I believe in that divine promise today. Amen. <laughs> My message ain't long, but it was that yesterday, this morning, and last Sunday. I preached for almost an hour and a half last Sunday. Mm -hmm. And the whole time running back and forth, I, I, you know, I kept running around the pulpit in circles. I was like, well, I thought they'd think the walls might come down or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I went, I, the goal is 
Church, we need to be loud about what we do again. Yeah. We need to be bold. Yeah. These walls need to shake. Yeah. Amen. You hear stories about being in revival. Yeah. Where the, no way I would be on, but the curtains would be moving and stuff like that. Let me tell you, we need to bring that Holy Ghost back. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. We need to let the church have the true revival. God will have his moment again. God will let that revival come. And we need to be praying for that great revival yeah, back. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. We need to allow that. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise Pray. God. It's sweating. Just... I'm soaked already. Oh, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. We got a little fan up here. Uh, one of the ladies from church said, we're bringing you two fans next week. Uh, Don't worry. It's a donation. I said, praise God. I said, for what, though? She said, I said, I'm not feeling like I'm going to be able to stand in front of the whole family anytime. I'm all over the place most of the time. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God for tonight. We're all here for a divine purpose. When we, walk, when we wake up, God has a divine purpose for your life for that day. Each and every day, He has a blessing waiting for you. Amen. Amen. We just have to seek his face and allow him to work in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because he does. He takes some of the brokenest people and uses them. Yeah. Exactly. I heard a statement on, on, uh, on a part of this man of God thing on, on Facebook. And it, this guy with no arms or legs. Yeah. And, and, and he said, if God can use a man to be his hands and feet, praise God. If he can use a man with no legs and no arms. To be his hands and feet. Praise God. That, that's a blessing right there. Yeah. He's using somebody yeah. to, to hop around. Really, he, he hopped around in this video. But he was praising God. And that's the truth. God uses some of the most broken people. Amen. Look at David. Amen. Look at Joshua. Isaiah. All of these men. They all had problems. But let me tell you something. God was greater. And he called them. And he anointed them. And he will continue to do that. To people. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We just have to be willing. Yeah. I tell people, don't thank me, thank God. I'm just a willing vessel. Amen. Amen. I don't want no credit. I don't want God to have all the credit, brother. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be successful. I want to be faithful. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God hasn't called me to be successful. He called me to be faithful. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And I plan on remaining to stay faithful. That's why I love to draw nine to him so he can draw nine to me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We all have a past. We all have a, uh, we all have a past, but God has redeemed us all. And if you're not saved tonight, I, I, I haven't met one person that has regretted serving God. Come on. Amen. I have never Amen. met somebody that has regretted serving God. Amen. 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 I've met people that's given up serving God, yeah. but that wasn't God's fault. That was their fault. That's yeah, true. But let me yeah. tell you something: those people are the most miserable people. Miserable people you'll meet. Yeah. Why? Because they felt the peace of God. Yes. They know what the peace of God can do for you. They know the healing that it brings into your life. Yeah. And now they're miserable. Yeah. But let me tell you something: those are the people we need to be praying for. Yeah. Church, we need to be praying for them in a mighty way again. Yeah. We need to be allowing them to work. God to work in their lives. Yeah. We need to lift them up. That's what we're supposed to do. We've yeah. been called to do. Lift one another up in our time of need. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. I, I, I want to feel that power 
the anointing that you feel yes. when you're yes. you don't have to stay behind the pulpit. There's been a few times when I went down the aisle, and you know what? You go all the way to the back door, to the door, and God is still there. Amen. The anointing of God is still there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I believe in having a good time in the Lord. I, I believe in that. I've been to churches. I've, I've even been preaching before where you felt like if you moved the wrong way, something bad was going to happen. You felt like somebody was getting ready to throw something at you until you sat down and shut up. I don't like that kind of church sermon. I like where the freedom of God is there. Yes. And where people is looking at you and saying, I want that too. I know what you're talking about. I want that. Yes. Oh, that's what the church needs. We need to get back to the old time power. Yeah. That God is the old time power. Amen. And it's us. I mean, it's the Christians that have put a clamp on that. Yeah. The shouting and the, what used to take place. Uh, Brother William said, if the walls could talk, I've been here. I've been here when Brother Wesley was walking the pews. Amen. I've been here when other preachers, Roscoe Gray, get up on the pew and sit there and slap somebody's face <laughs> just like that. <laughs> and their both sides would be just as red, and I imagine they was feeling something. <laughs> and, and, and may have woke them up or, and the Holy Ghost and the fire might have been able to penetrate them a little bit. Yeah. Brought them to reality yeah, that right. this is not something we're just talking about, but it's real. That's yeah, right. the real thing. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> but it's not over. <laughs> Just wait till the next time. Right. See what God does. At Brother Williams Church and at Rain Street Worship Center, God is looking for people in this day and time. He needs a few good men and women. He'll make Christian Marines out of us. That we can be someone that can penetrate the enemy's line yeah. and put a stop to what he's doing. Yeah. Brother Bob, you might have to use your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I believe in the Lord there is a need for everything. Yeah. Amen. Everything works to good, works together for good until to them. <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied. That love the Lord and are called after His purpose, according to His purpose. Amen. I might not be saying it just right, but you know what I'm talking about tonight. Emmanuel. Yeah. It's only seven thirty. I know it. it's early yet. <laughs> The, who feels like sitting here about two more hours? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I guess it's time for us to go home. But I have enjoyed tonight, yeah. Yeah. Brother William. I enjoyed your message tonight. Yes. And you're a preacher after my own heart. <laughs> It's hard to stand still up here. And he uses these hands like I use my hands. <laughs> I couldn't think about my hands about using my hands. I, in my hands, I kind of get the message across. <laughs> but God works in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. Praise the Lord. 
Anybody got anything on your heart before we close? Couple things. First of all, I want to say it's been good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. Yes. And, uh, I know you guys have a revival coming up. Start on Sunday morning at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, I start the revival off on Sunday night. Uh, Brother Kenny Birch will be bringing the message Sunday night. And I, I forgot the other two guys' name. They're from uh, uh, Ed Mauser from Mark Blonde. Uh, and then uh, Ron Rothensburg. From Faith Cowboy Church up there. He's, I've heard him preach too. He's a very spirit led preacher. So, uh, yeah, we're praying for blessings and God's will be done. Yeah. Amen. So, Amen. Just, just pray for us this week. Y'all are more than welcome to come up and, and, mm -hmm. and for the revival if y'all want. So, mm -hmm. I'll probably be there Monday or something like that. Monday yes, night. What time will it be Monday night? Seven. Seven. Yeah, okay. six on yeah, six on Sunday and then uh, seven.